Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and this will be the last video of the year. Thank you so much for spending this year with me. I'm very happy to share these ideas with you and today won't be the exception. Today I have a new idea that it's very easy and fast to make. We are still on time to make our gift for this amazing holidays. Look, I'm going to show you how you can make these warmers. Uh, you will decide if you want it longer or shorter or if you want you can use it as uh, gloves. You can use material that you have left from previous, from previous videos. You can make combinations and well the main purpose of this video is that you learn a new stitch using your needles. Look, I decided to put this bottom on it and you can fold this part and you can put this part facing to the bottom of your boot and also you can sew it and close it or you can leave it open like me. Well, well uh, this is only an idea. I will give you the stitch and you will decide uh, the design and the style that you want to make. But well, remember that before we start, it's important that you subscribe and that you give me a like too. But well, thank you again and let's enjoy this last video of the year and I hope that you like it and I hope that you have an amazing day. Well, let's don't lose more time, I will give you the material list. Let's start. Well, for this stitch I will use 100 grams of this medium weight yarn, it's number 4 and needles of number 5 and a half. Well, remember that you can use the color that you want. In this case, I will use this combination of pink. Well, with one thread and with our needle, we are going to start casting on the stitches. For these warmers, we are going to cast on 40 stitches. These warmers are for an adult. So you can take it as a reference. If you want it for a kid, uh, you can mm, cast on just the half. But we'll... For this case, we are going to cast on 40 stitches and uh, I know that there are a lot of ways that you can cast on. But well, to me, this is the easiest because like this, you don't waste any material. So you only use the material that you need. So I find this technique easier and well, as I told you, you don't waste material. But well, like this, I'm going to cast on 40 stitches. Well, when we finish to cast on, we are going to knit one and then the next one we are going to pour. Remember that when we pour, we place the thread in front, then again we are going to knit and then we are going to pour. And like this, the whole row we are going to alternate the stitch once we are going to pour and once we are going to knit. Well, at the end of the row, turn around and now we are going to knit the stitches as they go. Okay, so we, if we knit, we are going to knit and if we pour, we are going to pour in the last stitch. For example, here to start, well, we are going to take the first stitch and then you can see here we have the thread in front. This means that we pour. So again, we are going to pour. And then the next stitch we are going to knit. And then we are going to pour. And like this the whole row again. Well, like this we are going to continue making more rows uh, with this stitch, alternating the stitches and, and making the stitch as it goes. If we knit, we are going to knit the stitch. And if we pour, we are going to pour the stitch. But well, I'm going to follow these instructions and I will make more rows. Well, see you there. Well, look, I want my warmers a little bit short because I want to use a boot that it's uh, short. So I will leave it like this and I made 25 rows and it measured 15 centimeters. Remember that sometimes we crochet loose, sometimes, I mean, sometimes we need loose, sometimes we need a little bit more tight so you can take this uh, measure as a reference. Well, at the end of the rows that you need, we are going to change the stitch so we are going to knit the first stitch then we are going to pass then we are going to knit the next one we are going to pass the stitch to the needle 
then we are going to need the next one we are going to pass the next stitch and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row okay so we are going to need one then we are going to pass the next one without knitting you see then we are going to knit the next one we are going to pass it and like this okay i want to finish this row with you uh, please don't confuse it's very easy to confuse be careful uh, let's review let's finish this row together and then i can show you what's next okay so we are going to pass one stitch and we are going to knit the next one okay let's make a brain exercise let's focus and you will see it will look pretty with these little changes and, and making experiments with the stitches you will have an amazing result so i hope that this stitch is very easy and useful for you for your coming projects uh, you, well this the main purpose of this video is to show you this stitch and then you can use it in other projects well at the end turn around let me take more yarn okay so we are going to need all the stitches and also the first one you see so like this we are going to need all the stitches okay so now we change um, in this row we change here we are going to need all of them and like this the whole row well at the end of the row we will have something like this now we are going to come back to make and repeat the first row that we made where we are going to alternate you see that here we have these threads well now we are going to alternate and we are going to make that these threads um, be in the middle of this new row that we are going to make I will show you for example here in the last row I mean in the first row we started passing the first stitch well here we are going to need it and here you can see that we have this stitch and this means that we need you can see well this means that we are going to pass as I told you we are going to alternate what we made in the first row so we are going to look to place the threads here in the places where in the first row we didn't make the thread okay so be careful and it's an amazing exercise what I'm going to do is that I will have a paper and I will write what I made in the last row and how I started so I can have the reference and it will be easier to me to follow well we are going to continue alternating um, in this stitch I mean in this row uh, what we made in the first row so as you could see here we have uh, here we are starting the second series and we are going to come back in knitting and then again we are going to start with this stitch and we are going to alternate well look here is a quick tip so as you could see here I need this stitch so this means that in this row I have to take it well look here I already make more rows and as you could see you can tell that I alternate I just look and I observe the last rows that I made and those were my guides so I can see where I need and if I if I have to pass this the stitch only without knitting and well like this we have this in the wrong side well look what I made so far you just have to see uh, as I told you where you need and where you don't this is the right side okay so also be careful there well once you have the rows that you need we are going to stop here we have 13 centimeters and are okay to me because I'm going to use it in a short foot well once we have the rows that we need we are going to uh, bend off remember that we bend off like this we need to do it together and we come back with one stitch in the next then again we need to do it together and we come back with one to the needle 
we have to make these steps loose okay it's important to keep with the shape and to keep with the size of the product that we are making okay so like this until we finish all the stitches and well just a quick tip try to pull a little bit the thread so you can make it a little bit loose like this let's continue at the end got your thread and let's make a chain here at the end and now we are going to use the embroidery needle and one thread of the same yarn to sew we are only going to sew one side from here to here because I want to leave this side open so I can fold it to my booth okay well once we have the thread that we are going to use I will use of the same yarn here we are going to make a knot and I will use the embroidery needle we are going to make the invisible stitch that you know I like to use because with this you don't create any pleat and it's really invisible <laughs> okay as you could see I'm facing the project to the wrong side because I want um, when I fold it I wanted the stitch where I have the how can we say mm, but when I have all the threads all the waves in front I want to fold them facing to outside of the boot I don't know if I'm explaining if I'm clear but well, I will show you let me finish to sew until here remember that I will leave a side open so I can fold it so here we are going to take one stitch from here, one stitch from the other side using the embroidery needle. Be careful, try not to damage the yarn. If you want, you can use the eye of the needle so you can you won't damage the yarn. Okay, so be careful there. You remember that the details are important to have a good ending and to have a good result uh, it doesn't matter if you make a big or small break you have to take care always of the details because it will make a big difference well here I, I finish I'm going to make a knot here and well I wanted to show you this I'm going to uh, face this to the right side so so to the wrong side because I want that this stitch uh, tell in front of the booth you can tell in front of the booth I know if I'm clear if I say it right <laughs> I hope that the idea was clear well here at the end I will put a bottom I will use also the same yarn I will put it between this side and if you want well you can put a bottom like me or a brush or you can leave it like this or you can put a ribbon um, well you can make a lot of things okay this is only an idea here just let me finish to put the bottom and what I made in this um, warmer I will make it in the other warmer too also if you want well you can sew more part and you just can fold just a small piece of it but you will decide well here at the end I will I won't cut because I will hide this thread through the project and then here I will cut. Well look at the end I just I will hide all these um, threads that I have here and what I made in this warmer I will make it in the other warmer too. But well, uh, the main purpose was to show you this stitch I love it imagine a sweater with this stitch or a scarf well you can make a lot of things but well let's see how it looks well what do you think I hope that you have enjoyed this video with me this was the last video of the year I hope that you like it and I hope that you can make something like this it's very easy you are still on time if you don't have your gift ready well I think that this is an amazing idea to make I was thinking also that you can use it as a gloves too and you can use the same stitch well 
Thank you so much for spending this year with me, for watching this video until the end. I hope that I have, can have you with me in the coming year. I hope that you start this year with an amazing date and with the whole family. I wish you health and love. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to follow me. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.